hey guys let's start the very important topic okay this is the topic where most of us will have a misunderstanding of how to use the asset sheet everybody knows what is the purpose of the asset sheet but how to really and properly use it and because we do not know that when question comes in the exam many of us will go wrong okay so very important chapter please do not miss it okay so let's get started so this is our config file okay so if i ask you hey there are uh, there is an asset in orchestrator which you have to use in ari flow so how will you fill this very important okay for example let's say this asset name called asset 1 same to keep it simple okay so are you going to write the name here asset 1 is the name okay and let's say the value of that we'll take some simple example okay so it's a text type of asset and the value is welcome to abc company that is the value okay so are you going to write the value here welcome to abc okay something like that okay welcome to abc let's say so this is the value is it right or is it wrong name right asset name i have written uh, asset under asset column i am writing the value of the asset is it right this is absolutely wrong now first thing why we have asset so that any specific value we can store it in a secure way right if you are writing in the excel then why you have to use asset correct no so you should not write values at all you must not write the values so how to really use it rakesh so you understood right why you should not write the asset value then what is the purpose if you are writing it here then why there is a asset in orchestrator correct no so that let's say if i am storing a credential asset so that other people should not know that right that's why the asset is there in orchestrator only when you when your workflow calls it it will read it directly the robot will read it right to keep something secret we have the asset only few people will have that uh, you know access to change the asset values so as a developer you are not supposed to write any value of the asset wrong you should not write you must not write then you will get confused so rakesh what is this here so i should write the name of the asset here and the asset type i should write up that is also wrong you should not write the asset type why you have to write it is there in orchestrator right so what is the right usage what is the right usage so the right usage is under the asset column you should just write the asset name so what was the as our asset name asset 1 right that was the asset name let's say so here under asset you should write the asset name what is this name is for then this is for your config file reference so it works as a dictionary right so it has to have a key and it also has to have a value so just for the config to understand if this name is taken then the asset name should be red because it works in the key and value combination dictionary so here you can give any name right for example um, project asset 1 something like that okay this should not be the exact actual name of the asset rather a reference name so that when in the config file when it reads this it will understand this is the value of it something like that okay so this is just a reference name remember this is just a reference name this should not be the actual name of the asset or you can also leave it blank i'll show you the uh, the proper asset name has to be written under this one asset one this has to be a reference name for the dictionary to work okay keep it simple no value should be written that should be the first point of learn okay now let's move on to our actual documentation now you will say rakesh where is the documentation right we have to go as per the ui path design documentation i should not say or anybody should not say it has to be there in the documentation accordingly we have to follow right so where is the documentation of ari framework you would find here in the ari framework itself under documentation there is a pdf document just click on it okay this is the pdf document now here in the pdf document simply search asset control f and search for asset now read this this is very important sentence i will read it one by one and i will help you to understand the asset sheet behaves differently than the other two what is the main first point they are saying it behaves differently from the other two 
since the name column establishes the key i told you right because config file works as a dictionary right it'll key if you give the key name then it will take the value beside that whatever the value is that will take it so that's why establish the key to be included in the config dictionary and the value column determine the name of the asset as defined in orchestrator as defined in orchestrator so this should be the actual name of the under the asset you should write the actual name how it is there in your orchestrator okay they have also given an example to make it pretty clear look at this example okay so this is the orchestrator in your orchestrator they have created an asset the asset name is what country name what is the asset name country name what type of asset it is text what is the value of that the value of that is kept in orchestrator you should not write the value in your config file at all that is wrong you must not do you must not write the value of the asset inside the config file no locally you should not store the values okay so the value is there in the orchestrator what is the value text value is romania description default name of the country okay so the asset name is what country name is the asset now look at how you should use the config file they are explaining here how you should use the config file under the name they are putting did they write the country name where they are writing under the asset column only they are writing the actual asset name there in the orchestrator how it is written in the orchestrator the exact name is written inside the config file under the asset column this is exactly the name as per the orchestrator clear first point second point this name they are putting some reference name country asset something like that you know just to ref, as i said a reference name you can put like project asset 1 something like that any anything you can type but this has to be the exact name mentioned in the orchestrator very important point clear so with this example it should be pretty clear nowhere should write the value of the orchestrator the, the actual value name of the orchestrator should be written only under the asset column first point very important point should be clear okay now um, okay now if i ask you a question so this is clear right this is a lot of misunderstanding people write the value here it is wrong it is wrong this is the right as per the documentation we are going okay as per the ui for documentation only we are going now which state the asset value from orchestrator is read so there are four states in uh, re framework initialization get process transaction end process now which state so the config file will always be read in the initialization state very simple answer reading and all will be done always in the initialization state so where do you find it as i say your functional knowledge has to be impo is important so what you do if you have already done a collapse all just expand all okay just do a expand all now here look at this if you go here this is where they are reading the config file okay config file if you see not exactly there but here in the invoke init all settings workflow this is very important workflow to know config file is always read in the invoke init all settings all settings okay so this is the workflow you must open this workflow open this workflow and go through this workflow very carefully let me help you what they are doing first here if you see on the top right what they are doing they are reading the sheet config file sheet and then they are actually reading the settings and constants that means here they are reading the settings tab and the constant tab both they are reading at the same time okay dt settings and constants row so here if you see there is a data table they are reading the sheet okay they are reading the both the tabs at the time but for the asset what is the what they have said asset the asset sheet behaves differently than the other two okay so here if you see in the workflow the asset to read the asset they have used a different for each asset row for this one they are using a for each configuration row where they are reading two different tabs okay uh, dt settings and constants they are passing the values and they are reading it here but here for the asset they have a separate one for asset there is a separate one now which activity they are using if you see how how it is working is very important okay let's focus okay let's focus what they are saying dt underscore assets that means they are reading the asset file they are storing in the data table called dt they, are give, they have given the sheet name called assets and they are storing in the dt underscore assets and passing row by row so what would happen the robot will read row by row like this it will read okay now once it reads let's say it's reading the first one so in the first one what they are saying row 
column name this is nothing but column name what column name they have given asset so that means whatever there under this column asset will be read what is this? this is the actual name of the asset there in the orchestrator is reading the orchestrator for the orchestrator is reading okay so which activity is being used get or get asset activity you know right get asset activity which is responsible to get the value from the orchestrator so here all you have to provide the asset name so asset name is provided row asset dot to string so asset name is provided then asset value is the output if you see the output look at this property panel the output is what asset value so asset value is coming from the orchestrator just you have to provide the asset name it is pulling the value getting it so so this is very very important so which state is it reading doing all this job it is doing in the init all settings where exactly it is doing in the initialize all settings that means it is all happening in the initialization state okay initial state where exactly initial state inside the invoke init all settings workflow inside the invoke init all settings workflow the asset is actually read so if i ask you do do you read the asset value in get transaction data no do you read the asset value in the process transaction data no the reading is all done here in the initialization state very important point now let's go through some of the questions which state the asset value from orchestrator is read which state in initial state if i have to further if i ask you to drill down then you know it right it has to be first is initialization state i am not writing the entire spelling and the second inside the init all settings workflow right so these two things is very important right the reading is all done here now there is a question if if i ask you what will happen if someone changes the value of the asset in the process state so let's say the robot is in the process transaction state where exactly this is here in the process transaction state while the robot is trying to process somebody is changing the in the orchestrator i am going and changing the value so will it impact if you change the value here because it has already gone through the initial state it already had the old value so the old value will be processed not the new value because it has the robot has already the workflow has already reached the process transition state it's not going to throw an, an error because the if the error had to be thrown it would have thrown here if there is no value it could have thrown if there is an if the same asset name is not there in the orchestrator then it would have thrown an error here and it should have gone to the end process state but here it's not thrown an error it would directly it, it went to the process transition state now in that particular stage it has already read so whatever value it had read and the somebody is changing exactly here so doesn't matter which value will come the old value will come clear so this understanding should be i i felt i have explained it pretty well if you have heard me so what should be the answer for this so the old value will be processed so if you have a understanding how the asset works so you should remember okay the asset reading reading is always done in the initial state now if somebody is changing in the get transaction state end process state or any other state doesn't matter the value would remain the same what is being there at the if somebody is changing let's say the process has just started right right it, it did not even go to the uh, any tall settings uh, workflow before that somebody is changing right the changes has been done before that then what would happen it will take the new value if it has already crossed the state if somebody is changing it will still have the old value so very simple logically pretty simple okay so this is this should be pretty clear about asset lot of confusions lot of misunderstanding what was there it should be clear from this video so thank you guys let's meet on our next content thank you